All right, all right, what's going on guys? So <clears throat> recap, long story short, I bought two storage units, guys. One storage unit um, was a seven by 10 and it was a little over 500 bucks is what I paid and it was massive. It was a fantastic storage unit, guys. If you haven't already seen the first video of me unboxing it while I was in the storage unit, go check it out. Um, so I also did a video number two um, and the only way I can go through and show you guys what's in it is I brought it home because there was too many boxes and uh, we're going through the boxes individually. And so that's video number two. This is video number three. This is video number three of the same storage unit, the last video. And I'm gonna go through the remaining 30 boxes with you guys and uh, show you what I got. Now, long story short, paid over 500 bucks for it. One box from video number two paid for the whole storage unit. It was all vintage clothing, new with tags. So literally, this thing is gonna net me, you know, conservatively, probably about 15,000 or more. Um, and I truly believe that because there's so much stuff here and uh, so much stuff I can sell. So I'm gonna continue to go through these boxes, show you guys what's in it. This is video number three, the last video. And then long story short, guys, um, tomorrow I'm picking up uh, unit number two, which is not nearly as big, but we'll go live there and I'll show you what I got. Paid uh, 380 bucks for that unit. So haven't even picked it up yet, haven't even opened yet, and we'll go through that video. All right, so I'm going to uh, show you what is in box number one, video number three. Actually, video number two haul, but video number three for this storage unit. All right, guys, box number one of video number two. Oh, sorry, I actually scratched that, honey. All right, let's get into this box, guys. This is box number one, but we did 20 boxes in the last video, if you haven't seen it, on the same storage unit. And I haven't opened this one yet either. Uh, let's see, so this one, okay, this is just linens. This is a pillow, so that is nothing, no keeper there. Let's see what's in this little thing here. Okay, this is just like a little bowl. Just a random. And if you guys see anything that's worth a lot of money, let me know, because I'm not an expert in everything at all. So, I have a lot to learn. Okay, so we got blankets. Uh, <clears throat> some stuff that probably is not worth much. This box is not exciting for number one. And, okay, looks like sheets. These are some older sheets though, you can tell. And we have, we have some clothes mixed in here? We do. Um, brand new, little spice rack. Have to give that to grandma, maybe she'll like it. All right. We have, a Susan Thomas, made in the USA vintage. It's kind of cool. I show these tags because some of you guys may know more than I do about women's clothing, so you guys can tell me if I got any good stuff or not. Um, I think this is actually vintage too by the tag. So, we have another one. She kept really good care of her clothes. So that's another one. And let's continue, let's continue. Looks like this is like a nightgown thing. Scott. Hopefully it's focusing for you guys. Um, so it looks like a bunch of clothes in here. Uh, and some slacks. Oops, I just moved the slacks off. Clothes and slacks, guys. Clothes and slacks. Um, Oh, it's focusing on me. So hopefully it's not blurry. Okay. Some more clothes, guys. We'll go through a couple more and then we'll go to the next box. Just for time's sake. Just for time's sake. There you go. Oh, this is kind of unique. Oh, it's a two-piece set.
Huh. You guys have read that. And here's the other piece. All right, so just some clothes in here, guys. Let's go to the next box. Box number two, let's go to the next box. All right, box number two. Box number two. Let's see what we got. So we have some sweaters, guys. Fine quality sweaters. This, I think this whole box is old sweaters, so it's gonna go really good for fourth quarter. Um, remember, I paid $500 for the whole unit, so everything you've seen in all the videos is, uh, that's the only cost I had. Remember, because I, I own my own truck. This is kind of a unique sweater. This thing, something like this, colorful, will go really well. Uh, since I own my own truck, really it's just gas time and dump fees if I have any, but honestly, everything through this one, if I don't sell it, it's going to the Goodwill donations. There's another one. It's kind of cool. Something like this would definitely sell. And it's older. Alright, don't worry guys. We got a lot of electronics, a lot of cool stuff happening. Um, and some of the other boxes. But we gotta go kind of quick. Because there's like 30 more boxes. Um, and we already went through 20. So here's a really cool sweater. This one's nice. And yeah, this is all sweaters. Wow. Um, High Sierra. High Sierra sweater. See, that's one good thing about storage units is you get a lot of inventory that you can... Uh... Here is Northwest Blue. I've never heard of this brand before. Maybe you guys have. A lot of these uh, clothes are new attacks, which is crazy, and they're vintage. So, all right. This one is Marsh Landing. Am I saying that right? Pretty crazy. I am an ambidextrous, so. or not ambidextrous, but uh, what do they call that? This one has a little bit of issues. Ooh, here, we know this brand, guys. It's all that's... Hopefully it's focusing. This looks like an older tag, too. So. Ooh, brand new with tags. Brand new with tags. We love the brand new vintage clothing with tags. And that boy is brand new, brand new. That's nice. All right. Let's go through this one here. Here's another Great Northwest. Hopefully it's focusing for you guys. Another cool sweater. GW, GW. Here's another one. So, and another one, GW, and let me guess, another one, <laughs> same brand, yep, same brand, she liked that brand, wow, look at this old hanger, that's an old looking hanger there, huh, okay, so this one's kind of neat, You gotta always look for tags, because there's a lot of tags in here. But this one's kind of cool, too. Alright, so that was box number two. Let's continue to roll on, guys. Alright, box number three. Um, this one we went through at the storage unit, but we'll go through this again. Um, got some, a lot of cards in here. Now, I'm showing this because I want you guys to know, when you buy storage units, all the cards, um, all of that stuff goes back to the facility and then they try to get it back to the owner. So any personal information will always box up 
mm. and sent back to the facility so they can give it back. So these are old letters. So those are gonna go back. Um, some of these box, yeah. These are old Christmas cards, not used. Um, Printed in 1993. They're all brand new. So those will keep. Give me one second here. All right, back. So old letters again, guys. I mean, you briefly want to look through and make sure there's no cash, because a lot of times there's sometimes this cash, but other than that, you want to make sure you give it back to them. Um, give it back to the facility. All right. So weird. Oh, baby books. That's something that I always give back. Sometimes if they're um, if they haven't been used, you don't you don't need to give them back. But uh, this is obviously a Christmas box and some toys. Here's an old Scrabble board game, guys. Um, so this obviously is cool. We have a lot of old ribbon in here. This is definitely old ribbon. You can. You can tell there's no barcodes on it. Um, I've sold old ribbon and uh, all I do is I take a bunch of pictures of it in lots and I'll sell it in lots. So those sell. Greetings cards, you just gotta make sure they're not used. Those are not. Here's the old game. You wanna check out these old games too. And on the old games, sometimes if you're missing pieces, you can sell the, the pieces you do have because other people are missing those pieces. So board games sometimes do well. Here's a Monopoly. We all love Monopoly. That's pretty cool. And another board here. Looks like it's gameless. Does not have a game to it. Check this out, guys. This is an old payday game. That's really cool, huh? An old payday. I'll have to see if that's worth money. Probably not. We'll see. And we have a battleship. You guys all love battleship, right? That was fun. And some of these games, hopefully you guys have played. They're fun. This is a game box, guys. A lot of games, a lot of ribbon in here. Um, a lot of it. So I'll lock this up and sell it individually. Or sorry, sell it as lots, but individually. And we have pickup sticks. Come on, guys. Has anybody played pickup sticks? I know I have. Um, password. That's not bad. Yahtzee. We have a Yahtzee game here. I wonder if it's in here. It seems heavy. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's in there. Just seemed a little more heavy than normal. Okay. What else do we have? We have some candles, guys. Some random candles in here. And some more Christmas cards that's never been used. Hallmark Christmas cards. Made in the USA. So maybe, possibly what I can do is just sell these in a lot, you know? See if people want them. Uh, back then they wanted 16 bucks for them. What's this? Jackpot Bank? Wow, not a gambling device, a real savings bank. That's interesting. Check this out. It's old. Um, it says not a gambling device, a real savings bank. That's interesting. Does it work? Uh, it doesn't seem like it's working. Wait. Oh, wow. It does work. This is this is really cool. I think it's missing some things in the back, but I may have to look that up. That may sell. Huh. It's even got the uh, the instructions in here. That's really cool. All right, some more ribbon. A bunch more ribbon in here. We'll leave that in there so we don't pick it out. We have bingo. An old bingo game. You guys have played bingo. What the heck is this? I've never played this game. What the heck? Anybody play that before? 1966? 
I don't know. I'll have to, I have to see some more cards here. You can see inside the box. And that's about it, guys. That is about it. Uh, just saw a bunch of ribbon in here, so. All right, so this is box number three. Let's go to box number four. And we have a lot more. Stay tuned. Box number four. So let's get into this. All right, remember we're going through every single box, no matter if it's boring or not boring. I want to show you guys exactly what you get in the storage unit. So, uh, all right. We got some old jeans here. Women's jeans, women's jeans. An older shirt. 1995, nothing too, nothing too cool, but still, still, another GW shirt, and, let's see, what is this, clubbing collection, club Z collection, all right, shirt here and we got Jones New York Sport kind of a vintage women's shirt there and another one here XL All right, anything good anything good let's see oh this is so old the hanger look the hanger is Disintegrating that's been in here so long. Oh, this is a GW. All right. Just another. What is this? A, what is this a nightgown or a dress or something? It's a dress. Right. So we'll go through these quick. Just some basic Karen Scott's. We have another one here, Karen. And Russ Sport. Ooh, getting into the good, or, good stuff here. Coldwater Creek. I wouldn't say that's great, but hey. J. Jill with the Land's End. With the Land's End shirt under there. She took really good care of J. Jill. Another J. Jill. That's why this box is heavy, it's full of clothes. And there's another piece here. This one doesn't, it just says R. That's odd. Just R. Same here, and let's see. Ooh, vintage Orvis. That's really cool. It's got little ruffles, ruffles at the top. I don't know. If, I think that's what they're called. Women's. Some of you guys. Some of you guys are like, I don't do a lot of women's, but getting getting better, guys. J. Jill, J. Jill, the very back there, and another one. Not bad. Now I've sold men's. I'm not too sure how the women's go, but hey, let's see what is this. Cold water. All right. We have Dockers in here, an old Dockers right there. Made in Hong Kong. And 
Wow. They're like... You guys hear that? That's how long they've been in here. Um, just some basic tops. Another Dockers. Here's another one of these. It's cool. Alright, cold water. And these. I think it's an old gap. Yep, old gap. Alright, on to number five. I think this is number four. Yeah, on to number five, guys. This was number four. Number five. This one's heavy. This one's heavy. I think it might work out. All right. So we're. I think this is actually copper. Solid copper Korea. That's what it says there. Solid copper Korea. So that's kind of cool. That one these. Hopefully you guys like this style where we do unboxings because a lot of these boxes I haven't looked in because uh, I got at the house yesterday. So we have a lot of okay. Um, Reed and Barton. I don't know if you guys have heard that silverware. I don't know if I'm saying it right. This is kind of faded, but there's a lot of this Reed and Barton silverware. Uh, it says stainless steel, and it's in Korea. So there's a lot of that. You guys can see that. So, is that good? I don't know, I'll have to look at the brand. I actually haven't even pulled it up. But there's a lot of this in here. Um, look at this. And look, they all have the original paper on them. Which is crazy. Um, they all, they're all still in the paper. Yeah, this one says stainless. You guys can read that. Right there. Focus. There we go. So, a lot of that kind of silverware in here. So, I'll have to read up on that. And look, it's a bunch of it in packages right here, in the sets. And you guys can see, this camera is not, it's focusing on me and not the item. Let me get closer. Here's another one. So, all right, let's see what's in here. Ooh, an old Kodiak. Again, I haven't looked up anything on these. I don't know if they're if it's worth anything or not yet. So I think I got the trick on the camera though. Get closer. Okay. Um, some brand new in the package. So that's cool. Man, hopefully we'll find some Grizz Griswold plant pans. Those things go for good money sometimes. Okay. We have one of these bad boys too. All right, what's in here? And we have hair products. A bunch of hair ties. So you get a random, random group of grouping of things in here. So interesting. Okay. And some more of these. Brand new, never used, never opened. You can see the plastic is still on them. I want to see if these things fetch anything. All right. And what is this? Oh, another one? We have two of these now. So I want to see if these things are worth anything. I do sell cameras, but I've never sold those before. Oh, 
These were wrapped up. Some more. In the package. Little knives. Yeah, it's a full on set. All right. Look at this thing. What the heck? This is a strainer. Look at this thing. Um, I bet this is aluminum. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say it, but this. I bet old strainers like this sell. I'd have to check. It's interesting. Let me know, guys, if any of this stuff's worth anything. I have no idea what this is for. I know it's some sort of kitchen thing. Maybe you stab the meat with it or something. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel good since I've started the keto diet, guys. All right. Oh, this is a little disgusting. But hey, it's probably been in here for like 50 years. Who knows? What is what is this? Anyways, that's donation. All right. Ooh, this is cool. This is. Um, is this a fryer? No. I don't know. Okay, let me see if you guys can read that. Can you guys read that? It, it doesn't say what it is. But, hey. Mom will know. Mom will know. Okay. A little, little container there. Now what is this guys? It's got a ooh, it's an old toaster? This is an old toaster, guys. It's really good shape. Um made in the United States. So hey, that's gotta be worth something. For 500 bucks, who make it some money in this unit? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, guys, this may be worth a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. Look at this. Isn't this the grind, uh, like vegetable? Oh no, no, is this a meat grinder? It says universal. I think this is a meat grinder, right? So, it's got the other components in here too. You guys tell me, I think this is an old meat grinder. Um, at first I thought, like a sausage maker. Is this a sausage maker? I think so, an old sausage maker. So, that may be worth some money. All right, we're done with box number five. Or six. I think box number five. Let's go on to box number six, guys. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Box number six. All right. So when I got in the storage unit, I remember this box. It was it was not closed. It was open on top of some other boxes. Um, I haven't checked in here yet. So let's go through this first. Um, the first box that was in there was a bunch of bras. Um, these are old Marshall tags. I mean, look, look how old that Marshall tag is. So, um, really old Marshall tags on those. Um, and we got a bunch of bras in here that are brand new. And some of these, do you guys know these Kim, is it Kim Kardashian like butts or whatever? I mean, this is like an extra padded, padded thing. So you can put in it, you make, make it look like you have a big butt, you know? So, a bunch of those. Uh, some of these. So these are new. Vintage. I mean, I guarantee these have gotta be old. Older than 25 years. Um, got a bunch of these bras in here, guys. I know these are older bras, just by the tags. Um, and some of these have been used. 
But then some of them are are new, like this one here. I mean, this is an old, old, old tag. I don't know exactly how old, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's 20 years old. But again, I'm no expert. Uh, so, see, look at this, the inside tag on it. It's, it's older. Here's another new one, never used. So I think I'll, if they're the same size, I'll lot them up and sell them. Um, here's another new attack bra. A lot of the storage unit was new attacks. $4.99 back then, guys. This is a 34C. So, and we have a bunch of them in here in this little box. So, um, I'll shove them all back in here. And we'll go through that. This is box number six, guys. I'm not going in any particular order. We have like a lot of a lot of other like pitchers, electronics, stuff like that coming up. So um, I'm just grabbing boxes as they're here. This is just a basic. That this is not too old, I don't think. These here's an LL Bean. Use LL Bean. I don't think that's gonna sell for a ton, to be honest, but. I could be wrong. It's another basics edition. Hopefully you guys can see all right. This is the first one. Here's the writers. So I'm hoping the camera's focusing too for you. Let's see, yeah, just, a random, just some random t-shirts. Fair Indigo, I've never heard of that before. That brand. Woolrich, I've heard of Woolrich. I've sold some old rich. So, let me see if it is focusing. Oh, there we go. Old rich. Got to find the, got to find the sweet spot in the camera. Right there. That's where the sweet spot's at. Um, all right. Let's see. Some old, old looking. Jeans, women's jeans with the little flowers. So, surprised we're not seeing any Nike. Here's some more LL Bean. This isn't too old. This box is not really old. Uh, let's see. I don't even see the brand on this one. You guys can see the box too. So. It's all a bunch of used clothing, guys. Dockers. I kind of wanted to show you everything so you guys have an idea of what's in storage units. We've got a lot of LL Bean in here. Another LL Bean. I believe it's out of Maine, right? LL Bean out of Maine. All right, let's see. Another Eddie Bauer. A lot of Eddie Bauer, a lot of L.L. Bean. Here's, yeah, more Eddie Bauer. Another. I don't sell a lot of Eddie Bauer, to be honest. All right, so let's go on to the next box, guys. You got kind of got an idea on this one. All right. Are we on six or are we on seven? I don't even know. I guess I should be keeping tally. Okay. So this is nothing exciting guys, but again, I want to show you everything. So, but again, everything's new with tags in this unit. Um, I could have used this for the tomatoes this year. So this is just an outdoor, um, outdoor stuff guys. We'll spare you on this one, but I want to show you on everything. So it's got pots, indoor planters, you know, some plants, so. Not very exciting, box six, but I wanted to show you guys. Box number seven. All right, let's see. I haven't even looked in this one. Um, got a bunch of jean, long sleeve jackets, or whatever you want to call them. Two of these, same brand. Uh, some Levi's. Oh, this is Lee. So these are some older Lees. You can tell. 
These have the cool buttons where they say 19, or sorry, 1889. They have the cool buttons. It's not 1889, but they're older. You can kind of see. All right. This thing is just donation. Ralph Lauren. An older Ralph Lauren, but you can see there's a lot of issues with it. And I've never heard of this brand before. Made in Turkey. Let me know if you guys have heard of that. Made in Turkey. And we have the Necessities toilet paper. You get them in every single unit, it seems like. Every single unit. Okay, let's get into this. Looks like it's packaging stuff. Um, oh, these are glasses. Waterford Crystal, made in Poland. So, this is Crystal. Do you guys sell any of this stuff? Let me know, I don't sell a lot of it. I'm, I'm wondering if the whole set's in here. And we have some more of this. Swarski, made in Jordan. I don't sell a lot of glass either, so you guys let me know on that. Um, obviously I've heard of that brand, I just don't know how much it's worth. Here's another glass, so we've got two of them. And you guys know with my bar, I, all the glass crystal I have in there I got from storage units. So, here's another one. Ooh, this one still has the tag on it. That's one good thing about getting storage units, guys, is you can get some really high-end expensive stuff for virtually nothing, you know? I mean, I spent $500 for this unit, and two videos ago I got my money back. So, here's another one. Um, oh, here's another. It must be the full set that's in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But let me know as well if you guys know a lot about it. Here's another one. So let me move this over because I have room for all this. She had a lot of high-end stuff in this one. Here's another bowl. And they feel high quality. Now here's another bowl. This one has no markings on it. That I see, just a random one. It looks older, but no markings. What is this? What is this? Oh. Just a cool butterfly. Picture. So that's cool. What about this one? Here's another flower. All right. Ooh, this is really cool. It's glass. See, it's glass. Okay, let me guess, another bowl. Another bowl. And we have a smaller bowl, yeah, this must be the set. This must be the set. This is interesting. So this is kind of cool plate. I like, I've sold glass and I like doing it. There's less competition because nobody wants to ship it. One thing that you can do is you can, when you take it in, you can, I think it's $20 or $24. I know it's kind of expensive, but if it's really high end, you pay that at the uh, facility there and they'll ship it and pack it for you, which is really nice. So that way the liability is not on you. I want to say it's 20 bucks. They ship it and pack it for you, but I could be wrong. There's another one. 
I mean, this is 1986 designs made in Jordan, 1986, so who knows? I'll have to look at this and see how much it's worth, if any, you know? But. This might be good to put on right now for the holiday season. Oh, here's another plates. Like that one. Oh, this is a bigger plate. So maybe they have the full set in here of those. There's another one of these. So it's definitely the full set. Yep, here's another one. Okay. And more bowls. More bowls. Another bowl. I think this is just like a probably not worth anything. Made in China, it's like a little. Another one of these bad boys. Here's another one, different color. All right, so that, oh, never mind, I lied. What is this? An old jar. Just a 2008, not worth anything. But cool little jar. Let's see, anything else in here? Did I miss anything? All right, on to box number seven. Box number eight. Can you believe we're already box number eight? This one is very tall. You can see it comes up to here. It's on the desk. I have not opened this one up yet. Um, oh, maybe we'll just do it like this. It's got there's something in there. Nice. Oh. Some glasses, guys. Some wine glasses. Throw this stuff over here. Okay, so this is full then. Some more wine glasses. Ashley came to help, by the way, guys, on this one. Some more wine glasses. Alright, let's show them here, Ashley. Let's see, what do we have here? More wine glasses. Oh. This is a uh, gravy boat. That's nice. Yeah. Mm, gravy boat. I bet the top is in there. It's got the gold trim. It's in really good condition. Sometimes they don't have top. Oh, sometimes they don't have top. This must be a. This must be a China box. What is this? What is this? And I have so much packing behind me. All right. This is... This is a treat ornament. Oh, wow. Okay. So... There's the box. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. A, oh, it's a set. The whole set's here. Wow, these are new. These are completely new. They still have the sticker on there. I don't know how much they're worth, but it's a whole set. It's got the, the gold trim. Wow. Another one. 
out of glass piece. That's kind of cool. What is that? Ooh, this is cool. This is this is a nice glass. It's too too deep. It's too deep. Okay. Here, you can open that one up. And we will open up this one. See what's in here. Oh. This is cool. Oh, you got one too? Oh no. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have the These other. Are like for special. This would be perfect for Thanksgiving. Yeah, and see the little sticker? It's still. It's still uh, not used. They haven't been washed. Here's the other plate. Oh, there's some. Crystal Linux base. Crystal Linux base. All right. About the size of my hand. Let's see what's in here, shall we? It's heavy. Oh. They are really pretty. They have like a little weird tint to them. You see, it's like a shiny tint to them. Wow, those are pretty. Um, it's all full of them. I got six of them here, so I'll just leave them in here. But that's really cool. There's more? So these are, they don't have the tint. Oh, these ones don't have the tint. I wonder if those other ones have like a shiny tint to it. If you guys know what that is, but this ones don't. These are clear. Oh, these are the ones with the shiny tint. They have like a, it's like a rainbow in the glass. It's really interesting. Where are those? Oh, bless you. A little teacup. Like a small one, like how, like this is smaller than a little espresso shot. Like, wow. You guys see that? Focus, focus, focus. Pretty crazy. All right, let's go on to box number eight. Box number eight. All right, All right box number eight or nine, who's counting? I have no idea at this point. We're just gonna go until we're done. Video number two. Video number two, okay. So we have some, some of these bad boys. If you guys can read that, it's kind of hard. Um, it's a whole set. I'll leave them in here, but you can see that those are the same size. I'll put those over here. This is another China box, I think. Another China box. All right. Yep, here's another one of those sets. It's like so blurry, you can't tell what's on the bottom of it. But, huh. All right. I wonder if it's all that in here. Ooh, there's something rattling in here. I hope it's not broken. Oh, it's more of these. You can tell it's the same as those other ones. So we'll leave those in here. Let's see, what else? We have more plate sets. Oh, another gravy boat. This must be the whole set. Yeah. This is made in California, USA. Oh man, it's just so. If you guys can see that, but another gravy boat. This must be the whole set in here. Let's see. Oh man. I mean, 
if it is, we'll leave it in here. Just so I don't have to rewrap it, but. Yeah, it is. Here's some more of these little plates. So let me know if you guys have seen this brand before. It's kind of hard to read. Um, this may be worth something. But this is the whole set. Yep. Here's some more uh, bowls. And they're number two. This is number 13. Uh, so. Alright, we're going to leave this in the box. This was an easy box eight. It's all the one set, guys. That way we don't have to uh, put it all back in the box. On to number nine or ten. We'll see. All right, day or excuse me, uh, day two, video two. Guys, we got a bunch of boxes or a bunch of excuse me, a bunch of books and a bunch of boxes. We probably got maybe twenty boxes full of books. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, see if they're worth anything and get them on Amazon if they are. I'll send them into Amazon. Um, and a lot of them are older. They've got the uh, ISBN number, but they don't have barcodes, um, UPCs. So I may just uh, I may just look at these and see if they're worth anything and send them in to Amazon. And here's some more books, guys. We haven't even looked in them yet. Um, and there's a lot of like a lot of. Uh, um, Bibles in here too. So I'm gonna look through all these books. There's, I, I'll spare you guys from showing you books, but we probably got, I don't know, a lot of boxes full of books. So, and we got another box here, full of books as well. So, I'll put these back. But I just wanted to show you guys that we got a ton of books. All right. So this one's not very exciting. Um, it's got like clothespins in here. This is really cool. That's where they keep their clothespins. Some hangers. I'll use the hangers. But then you've got a box full of Tide, guys. So it's still good too if you want to use it. Um, I would assume it'll last for a while. Look at this. <sighs> wow, this is laundry booster. I wonder how old this thing is. It's so old, you can't even, oh, you can scan it. Wow. Anyways, just again, I want to show you everything. So this will not add to my value pretty much, other than Tide gets expensive. Also has liquid Tide in there, I don't know. All right, let's move on, let's move on guys, let's move on. Okay, this is a random box that was in the unit. Shoes. And these are Land's End, and they've never been used. So brand new Land's End shoes, guys. Um, Land's End, I think, is going to do better now because, see, a lot of people purchase their Land's End from Sears, and Sears was a big, like, you know, Land's End supplier. I'm sure they can get Land's End elsewhere. I'm sure there's other stores that offer it, but maybe. Um, then we also got this. What's these books, Ashley? Sermons. These are sermon books. Spurgeon sermons. And they're brand new. It's the whole set. It's the whole set. Five, so I'm, five I'm wondering, volumes. huh? Six, five volumes. Five volumes, guys. So I'm wondering how much we can get for these things. Brand new, never used sermon sets. Um, so I don't know. It's still in the box. And this is it right here. So I'll have to look at that and see, but pretty cool. Um, I'll keep you updated on some of this stuff. All right, and box number 11. You wanna say hello? Mm. Mm, big smiles. 
All right, guys, we didn't find him in the storage unit. What's up with the tongue? Are we taking the tongue out <laughs> on camera? What? <laughs> what is going on with the tongue? <laughs> All right, guys, let's unbox this, okay? All right, come on over here to mommy. All right, I lost count. But for Ashley, who's editing this video, this is gonna be day two. And we have shoes. So we already have, what, three boxes of shoes now? Mm -hmm. um, and you gotta be careful, because I, after close evaluation here, some of these shoes do not match the boxes. So I have to look. Um, but uh, we have Montgomery Bay shoes, or sandals. Oh my god, I forgot when you're gonna focus. Oh, there we go. Uh, those ones are used. Let's just go through these shoes. See if there's anything worth value in here. Or anything not worth value. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. And she kept decent care of her shoes. Um, these ones have padded pads in them. But some of these are used. But look, the soles are really good on them. So, this one you have made in Poland. The shoes are made in Poland. I don't know if they're worth anything, but we will. Sh we shall see. She really liked all her shoes, and but look, she took really good care of them because the soles are actually really clean. See, here's another pair. So those are nice. Those are nice. Oh, these ones still has the stickers on them. They were $66.95, now they're $34.90. Nordstrom. You guys can see them. But they don't look like they've been worn, they just look older. So, not bad. Those ones are new. And we have these bad boys. See, these are decently clean as well on the back here. And she always put, these ones have been worn. But all of her shoes, mm -hmm. <laughs> she took care of them. So, that's cool. Those will actually look good to take photos in. You put those in there yeah. and you take photos. It just brings like another looking area. All right. I don't think these are Margaritaville, but they're just sandals. So they don't fit the box. I've sold Margaritaville men's shirts. All right, here's another pair. Again, really good care of the soles. She probably wore them only a few times, if that. And another pair here. I'm waiting, this is like some soles, some really nice. These are Dr. Sh oh no, those are the pads she uses. Mm -hmm. Remember she had a ton of those pads? What is in here? Ooh, ooh, these are good looking shoes. Handcrafted footwear. And these are actually the box. So that's rare. Oh, almost lost it. So they've never really been used but once, maybe. And uh, I don't know. I haven't sold many of these. So we'll have to see how much they want on the box. There's no price. Wow. That may be a good find, who knows. All right. Oh, still, I don't think these have been worn. They have the, the tag on them, so they're, she was shopping in the clearance section. They look new. But they look completely new. So even the used ones look like they've been taken very good care of. These ones have definitely have not been taken care of. They definitely look older just by the pads in them and stuff too. But then they have a little sticker on the back still. <laughs> so who knows? Who knows, I mean, how long this been worn? Alright, let's see. What do we got here? So these, not too bad. Worn inside a little bit. We 
have some more margarita bin. Margarita bin. These actually may be margarita bin. They are. Oh, they're new. Margaritaville, they're new. It doesn't sell for a ton, but I mean, people buy in Margaritaville. They got a cool box with it too. And these can go first class a lot of times. If you eliminate the top, some sandals. Yep. Maggie, am I saying that right? Yeah. So. That's the only thing that doesn't have a box in here. It's interesting, huh? And they keep coming. They keep coming. Um, this pair looks pretty good. Made in Italy. Uh, Nichols. Am I saying that right? Yep. Nichols made in Italy. So. Dude. This storage unit is crazy. Crazy. Okay. Again, um, these are made in Spain. I don't know. You can tell I'm not up on my women's shoes. So let me know in the comments below throughout these videos, these haul videos, these storage unit haul videos, if, if I got anything good or if I got anything bad here. Right, here's another pair. Some black on black. And they have the, the, even though they've been worn, they still have the, the uh, tags inside the box. These are made from made in Brazil. Nine West. I know Nine West isn't a crazy brand, but. Fancy. These are fancy. Made in Spain. These are fancy. You see that? Black on black. Wow. They got the size in there. Wow. Some fancy looking shoes. All right. Easy Spirit. These are new. Some more new stuff. They've got the tag. So even on clearance, they were 25 bucks. And then originally they were 60. But these are um, Jones New York, brand new. They still have the tags inside. So, I mean, again, it's just like, it's all about, you get so much in storage units. You know, you get like just so much in each unit. Here's another pair. These are pretty cool. They've been worn, but and those are pretty cool. Man, let's check out the Ooh, these these are need these need to be thrown away. They've got a lot of issues, guys. Singles. Those need to be thrown away. And we have another pair here, guys. Gloria Vanderbilt. I know her jeans don't sell for a ton. They, people are religious about her jeans, like women's jeans. I saw a lot of women's jeans, but they don't go for a ton. But like, they seem like they're steady sellers, um, and they sell at Nordstrom's. So, and we have these bad boys. Kind of cool. Little loafers. Uh, you can't really see the tag on those things. All right, last one, and then I gotta change out the battery in the camera and continue on. So, these are cool. What, I think it's Joy. You guys can see that. But, all right guys, three boxes of shoes, it's crazy. Um, I'm gonna change out the battery of the camera, and then we'll continue on. All See right, you. new battery in the, in the camera. I've done this like four times now because it's such a long... I have not been through this. I just looked at the very top one because we didn't have time. Um, so let's go through this. Some more clothes, but I can already see new tag clothes. So got the old Nordstrom 
bags. Look at this. We have, I know it's Ross, but it's brand new. R and K, I, I haven't sold many of it, but when you can get brand new clothes, it's crazy, see? Tags, tags. So that's brand new. And we have some J. Jill. Oh, Talbots. Women's. Brand new with tags. Guys, how many brand new with tag clothing items have we had so far on these two videos? Like, it's crazy. This was a really good unit. Um, so another brand new with tags, J. Jill. Another brand new with tags. I haven't heard of this brand before. J.K. Hook, but hey, brand new with tags. I don't think this guy's brand new with tags, but uh, hey, that's pretty good start for the box, I would have to say. That's pretty good start. All right, let's move on, let's move on. I see some more tags, more brand new with tags. Um, this, I don't have any tags, not brand new. That's the next one, but hey, we have a lot of these. All right, more new with tags below here. Um, let's see. Oh, we're missing the top piece. Yeah, so brand new with tags, guys. They wanted eighty bucks for this a long time ago. Um, I, I've never even sold this brand before, but it's a two-piece set. Brand new with tags. All right. Well, this is this is going pretty good. Pretty good. Man, everything is in plastic. It's like crazy how nice she kept this stuff. I almost don't want to take it out. Okay. So this must be a set. We got to keep it somewhat nice because I'm gonna turn around and sell it. This was made in Italy. And, um, wow, look how nice this set is. Actually, isn't that amazing? Made in the USA? Oh, wait, sorry, this is not made in Italy. Made in the USA. I don't know why I said Italy, guys, I'm tired. Made in the USA, but look at this. Look at the quality of this. Man. Um, and it's got the pants in here as well. So, look at these pants. Or sorry, not pants, skirt and pants. Ah, I'm not sorry then. <laughs> all right, I gotta put that back in the plastic. That was that was a nice one. And she kept all her stuff extremely nice. All right, so Jessica Howard. Nice, and it made in the USA. This is definitely vintage. You can tell by the tag. It's like a dress. My arms are sore, guys, from putting box. Oh, this is brand new. Brand new with tags. We love it. We love brand new with tags. It's got to be vintage. Look how old that thing is. Made in the United States. New with tags. All right. Let's move on, shall we? Let's move on. Wow, this is a nice one, too. Look at that. Man, they made quality, seriously. Uh, actually has the pants inside. There's the tag for that bad boy. And one of these. Work clothes. Oh, we have non, uh, we have non clothes stuff in here too. I'll have to show you in a second. So we have another set here. Another set. And another pair of work clothes here. Work attire. All right. Oh, Beanie Babies. Oh. Look at this guy. Does, it, does Beanie Babies have, oh, 2006. So he's a 2006. Still 20 years old. Yeah. Yep, look at this guy. Oh, you should give it to, uh, probably. And another ducky. Flip-flops, extremely relaxed animals. Oh. All right. 
right? And we have a little, a little beanie baby cart thing, basket. Another one, he probably fell out though. Put him back. All right, man, there's, a, there's some more clothes in here. Ooh, Calvin Klein, jean jacket. Ooh, this is older. Like this. Wow, made in the United States. It does, but somebody will still buy this thing. That was popular back then. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Calvin Klein, jean, jean jacket. Woo-wee. Yeah. Oh, we have the poo. Winnie the poo. Yeah. And there's just a lot. Oh, there's some more jean jackets in here. Like a lot of them. Oh, these are old suspenders. Let's see. Are these... Oh no, sorry, suspenders. This is a made in Hong Kong. I don't know if you guys have this EXP. Where you guys? There's that. Alright. We have Liz. Another jean jacket. I gotta get up on my women's brands. Let's see. Northwest blue. I mean, some of these may not be worth much, but. And here's a Levi jean jacket. Ooh, this is nice. This is nice. And here's the tag on this thing. This is nice. Heavy. Heavy, 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 heavy. And another Land's End. So, yep, just some other random clothes in here, guys. Land's End, Route 66, which is not worth much. Um, yeah. But, not bad, guys. Not bad. Let's get on to the next box. All right, so we're not even gonna count boxes anymore, I decided. <laughs> Ashley's idea, which is a good idea. All right, we have a Christmas box here, guys. Uh, just in time for Christmas. So, a willow tree. That's an angel, right, Ashley? Yeah, there's an angel in there. There's an angel in there. We have some bulbs. That's one thing you're almost guaranteed in a storage unit to get. And that's at least some Christmas because nobody wants to store Christmas at their house. Um, so, and some, and it's all, looks like it's new. It's never been really opened, I think, um, which is cool. And some Christmas you can't sell for a lot. Oh, that's Martha Stewart. The, not that one, but the ones you just put down. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, those are Martha Stewart. Who knows? Maybe. Is that before or after she had her little spiel? <laughs> before she got put in jail or whatever. Uh, that's another cool one. And we can always use some of these. We have a, what are those things called? A little reef. All right. Some more bulbs. More bulbs. We'll have to use some of the Avion, Avon, Avon box. And we have another cool willow tree. Is this an angel too? No, it's nativity. Oh, nativity scene. Willow tree is just the brand. It sounds like. All right, guys. Let's continue on. Let's continue on. You guys know the drill. Another box. Another box. All right. This one's all wrapped up. Oh, that's just, man, they really took care of the wrapping. White Rain Classic Care, new improved formula. Hmm. Random, right? Uh-oh, we have more China? Yes. More China. Rose Classics? Yeah. It's all here. Oh, here. Okay, well, if it's the other one, we won't open up everything. Oh, yeah, it is. 
Wow, it's a whole set. You guys remember that gravy boat? Well, we had two gravy boats. But this is the another whole set. We have like three China sets in here. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Um, I'm dying to see what's in here. Oh, it's a little napkin. Okay, this must be the other set then. Oh yeah. Wow, that's beautiful, isn't it? That they're made in Germany. Wow, look how beautiful that is. So we'll leave all these in here, guys, um, just to make it easy. But that is a whole China set. Like the gravy boat set. And I can see now why they package it so carefully. So. Alright, small box but mighty. It's really cool box, by the way. But this one has some gloves in here never used. There's Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Cashmere line. Oh, nice. We have some cashmere gloves. They were 53 bucks. Ross wanted 14 bucks back in the day. Cashmere lined. Um, we have a lot more Ross tags in there, so they may have fell off. Here's another one. We have, oh man, there's just all kinds of gloves in here. Leather gloves. She was very, Wow. She likes it. Yes. This still has the tags on it. Jones, New York. It's a little scarf. scarf. Some more Handkerchief. handkerchiefs. Or, yeah. or no, this is the thing that they I don't know, guys. I'm still new with the women's stuff, okay? But yeah, this a lot of this is new with tags. So Pretty cool. I think these are older. Yeah. That print just feels old. Who knows? I'll take a look into it. I always do all my gotta do your research, make sure you're correct. Alright. Woo! Man, I've been working out the last couple days. So new box. And we have not looked in this one. <laughs> um First, let's start off with the easy stuff. We have a brand new telephone. An old telephone, guys. Brand new. AT&T. New in the package. That's kind of neat, huh? Back in the day, they wanted 30 bucks for it. It's random. Close, close, close. Telephone. <laughs> You get, okay. Wow. This, this, I don't know. Does this look like a tablecloth? Look at this big hanger on here. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, I think it went piece. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Wow, look at this thing. That's beautiful, huh? Hopefully, it's hard to see on camera, but. Wow. What do we have here? Another wow. telephone? You used to have this phone? It still has the, the owner's manual and everything with it. Wow. This one looks like it's been used. This has been used, but hey. What do you think, sir? Huh? You want to be on camera again? All right. What do you think about this? Huh? What do you think about this? What does he think about this, huh? Daddy do good on this one or what? Crushed it. Okay, this one is just a bunch of lands in. Older lands in. Got Whoa. older land. Really? You like lands in too? What is in here? Oh, some more phone cord. Oh, it's still the packaging phone cord. Some people buy that. They buy that stuff still. Ooh, we have new attacks, $194 wow. down there. 
We'll have to see what that $194 is. Can you imagine like five or six garments paying for this whole unit? Wow. What are, what is that? Six cedar blocks? You find everything, folks. Yeah, they wanted $7.50 for wood. And there's a few of them in here. Yeah, potpourri, cedar chips. Potpourri? Oh, oh, so you put this in with your fur coats. Wow, I wonder if they even sell these things anymore. I doubt it. Brand new. There you go. Wow. This must be like the, another new box. The $149 price tag is down here. I gotta see what it is. I wouldn't be surprised if she has fur coats. That's what that probably is. Huh. And you gotta think $194 back then. Oh wow, this has new attacks too. This unit just keeps getting better and better, guys. Better and better, but it's like really hard to get out of here. Let's see. Okay, boom. Liz Claiborne. Liz Claiborne, new attacks. Any, any kind of grunt, honey, anything? Another new attacks, Myron and Frank. Valerie Stevens, pure silk. Valerie Stevens, pure silk. 40 bucks, new attacks. Is this new attacks too? What? No new attacks? We're getting, we're getting uh, spoiled here with all this new attacks. This is new attacks though. Ah, really? Oh, he likes new attacks. Yeah, you like new attacks. This is $165. Marked down to 70. Wow. Brand new, guys. How much brand new stuff are we gonna find in this unit? Oh man, the uh, here's another one, guys. You can see you can see it's so old that the little the you can clean it off, like wash it, it'll be fine. But the hanger was uh, disintegrating. That's how old these things are. If the hanger does that. Probably in I don't know, maybe moisture. Okay, CW, Clifford and Willis. All right, you got me in treats. Let's see, Jones, New York. Oh, new attacks, yeah. More new attacks. All this is new attacks, got Jones, New York. Did she wear any of these clothes? This is $194. This is not the one I saw, by the way. $194, bucks, guys, back then. Let's see. What just happened? Oh, the little thing fell out of it. Excuse my French. The little buttons fell out of here. Let me put it back. Did it break? I don't know. Let's uh, put it in there. Okay. So, Jones, New York. We have a whole suit. Oh, never mind, one right on it. Is this new? This is a whole women's suit here. Really? Are you gonna list all this? Huh? Okay, we this is new with tags. Victoria. A little skirt new with tags. Look how old that tag is. They wanted 79 bucks. Here's another one. This, this feels like silk to me. Um, yeah, 95% silk. So. Got a Land's End hanger, guys. I'll keep those. If I find more, I'll sell them in a lot. What is in here? Wow. Look at this thing. It's an old e-machine keyboard. An old e-machine keyboard, guys. Uh, you find everything. Okay. All right, let's see. This thing, oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. What is in here? It is like really heavy. This is Portland, Oregon, too. Bless you. I know this is old clothes, huh? This is old clothes. You gotta do it again. Wow. What is this? Oh, Talbots. Wow, this is 
vintage Talbots, I believe, just by the tag. It's made in the USA. I could be wrong. I'll have to check because I know some of their newer stuff is too, I think. And it's women's. I don't sell many women, but this is, wow, this is beautiful. Look how long this thing is. I wonder what I, I, man, I don't know. I might sell this thing for over maybe, maybe 150, 200 bucks, maybe. I don't know. I have to check. Here's another one of those wood things. Is this another? Oh, I've never heard of this brand before, and I'm in Oregon. But here, I'll show you guys, maybe. Maybe you have Portland, Oregon. Um, but it's beautiful, too. Charles Benz. Wow, this is an old union tag. Union workers. International Lady Garments. Union. I don't know. See the tag. I'll have to look at uh, some websites and see. So I don't know about that. Is this another one? Oh no. Dumas. Yeah, Dumas made in the United States. Let me see that. Oh, Charles Burg. Charles Burg. Yeah, it's also part of Oregon now, right? Well, probably for the roses yeah. too. All right, pretty crazy finds, guys. Let me know in the comments below if uh, you guys know anything about these things. All right. Another little box, guys, that we haven't been in it yet. She loves her slippers. Look at these slippers. Wow. Those are nice. Made in the Philippines. They they look like they've never been worn. So who knows? Maybe that's a give some of those to grandma, huh? All right. Nightgown. Old lady nightgown. You don't like old lady nightgowns, do you? That's an old robe. Old robe. Wow, these are new. Acorn. Slipper socks since 1976. Made in the United States in Maine, United States. Um, I gotta put more batteries in that. All right, it's brand new guys. Wow. Wow. That's funny. I'm gonna have to sell these obviously. What else is in here? What else is in here? It's just all old lady. Old, old lady stuff. All right, guys, I'm gonna go change the battery and then we'll do another box. Another box. No, oh, I'm going over, okay. I'm trying to angle this as best I can. So, as you can see, a lot of these boxes we didn't have a chance to go through. This is, a, oh, this is an old tape. All right. Wow. Are we gonna get more new attack clothes? We're about to see. I have a lot of these. All right. Let's move the box over here so I can show you guys the clothes better. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's do this. So the first we have. We have some J. Jill, guys. Not new, used. I haven't sold much J. Jill. I'm not too sure what the market is for it. But if it's new, I'm like, oh, I could sell anything. Classic 2000. Somebody may want that. Who knows? All right, let me move this over this way a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's better. All right, it's got some pants in here. Some Liz. Some Liz pants. She liked, the, she liked the Liz pants. Look how nicely she put everything on hangers, though, in the boxes. Man, that's awesome. All right. Continue on here. This one's gonna be a little bit of a crazy mess. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
Put some lambs in. Oh wow, it's everything. This feels interesting. May not shine out, but it feels like silk to me. So just a bunch of shirts, guys. Nothing too special yet. We have to go through it because it's there's a lot in here. And you never know. Right, Ashley? Mm -hmm. You never know what could be in here. I'm fighting with hangers. Okay. Let's see. Alright. Eddie Bauer. We have some Eddie Bauer. Casual corner, corner. Uh, I didn't look at the tag fast enough. Some more of these. You have to look though, because sometimes you'll get clothes and on the bottom you'll get phones. Right? Clothes and phones. Oh, that's, that's an old looking tag. Isn't that old looking? Some more Lanzen. Lanzen. Made in the Philippines. I thought we had our first new tag item in the box, but I didn't see. Oh, here is. Hey, what is this? How am I gonna get this up? Wow. This is some sort of contraption, guys. Some sort of contraption. All right, let me see. Okay. Ooh, some Ormus. You guys see that? Um, this is a really cool hanger. Yeah. Okay, we'll just pull this all off. Okay. What are these? Never heard of those before. She has a lot of these. Uh oh, we have another one of those crazy pants things. Phones yet. We have Land's End. Some more Land's End. This is all pretty much Land's End. Here is this crazy pants hanger. Some more pants. We have some Lee's. Lee pants. We have some Calvin Klein, Calvin Klein jeans, made in the United States. Calvin Klein. Alright. Let's see. Classics. Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. But hey, somebody's got to do it. Please. Right. And pretty much Eddie Bauer. Calvin Klein. Surprise. Um, was it Carl Reed? And Express. So. That's it. All right, let's go to the next box. All right, small little box here. Um, just pictures.
I mean, they're kind of beautiful. This is in France somewhere. upside down. This is interesting. This looks old. I don't know. This is just an old frame. Nothing that. Ooh, there's a nail on here. It's another frame. Looks like a gold, gold frame. Steel in the box. What is in here? Oh, just old pictures. Old, old paper frames. That's it for this box. We'll go on to the next. This is a heavy box. So, this one I peeked in the very beginning. But look at this. I don't know exactly how much these things go for right now because I haven't actually looked at the models. We have a Sony 5 disc nice. system here. And it looks in really good condition. Um, it even has like the the warning label on there, so that's good. I mean, I don't know. I'll have to look at it, but this could pay for part of the unit right here. I don't know how much this is going going for, but Samsung probably not much. But look, it still has the seal on it. Like that's how new it is. So, DVD player, like I said, probably not a ton, but hey, it's something. I can't get the port out right now. All right. Here's another one. This came out of the unit. Looks extremely good condition, guys. A Pioneer sound system. I mean, look at this thing. This is in perfect condition. There's not many scratches on it at all. No rattling pieces. It looks in, they took great shape of it. So, again, I don't know exactly how much it's going for, but this is a really cool find. So. And. And last but not least, this one's a little bit more beat up, but not too terribly bad. A VHS player. Wow. Toshiba VHS player. And it's not in really bad condition. I guarantee you the way that this person was meticulous and took care of, took care of their stuff that this probably works. Of course I need to try it out and make sure. But man, this thing could be worth some good money. I don't know. 
uh, but it looks in great condition, guys. So, and no rattling pieces. So. That's why that box was heavy. So remember, I keep saying this, but five, a little over $500 for everything you've seen in all three videos. Literally, that's all I paid for everything you've seen in all three videos. And that's why I love storage units. You can hit some really good ones and get a lot of storage, a lot of inventory. Um, some empty bags. Here are some kids' books Ashley may like. Yes. We have Disney Snow White and the Doors. Here's another one. So she may she may actually keep some of these. Madonna. And another one. Is that Madonna? It says Madonna. Huh, weird. My the Magic Hill. It says by Madonna. Oh. Weird. By Madonna. Oh. Peter's Pumpkin House. And then these ones too. Mm -hmm. And another one. And a little polar bear. Now there is some glass in here. And it's just straight glass. And I think it's because it goes to some tables I still have to pick up. Um, there's probably like $400 worth of solid wood uh, oak furniture left in that storage unit, guys. So there's a, a dresser, a solid wood table. So I'll probably pay for the unit just in the, in the furniture. Um, the big thing with storage units is you can make a lot of money. Like I'll make a lot of money on this unit. But um, it also is a lot of work. You guys see it's a lot of work. But I'll give you an idea, guys. <sighs> it doesn't look heavy, but they are. Okay, let's do this. Another clothing box. Holy cow. All right, let's get into this. All right. So again, packaging's amazing. And this stuff's got some little flair to it. Got a little school schoolgirl. Oh, is it Diana Morgan? Pretty cool. Squeeze that word a little bit. There we go. All right. Here's a, another Liz. No new attacks yet. I guess I was spoiled with the new attacks, right? Um, look at this little little schoolgirl. I don't know. It's got a little. I don't think it's real. A little pearl, maybe. I don't know. But that's a cool outfit. I'll have to put these back in here. All right, let's. Continue on. Keep trucking. Keep trucking. I think I've lost like 50 pounds in the last two days. All right. So we got suits here, guys. This one's in bad shape. I don't even know the brand, but hey. Um, another one. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is dry clean only. It's probably in the pocket. Oh, there it is right there. You guys can see that. And... This is a really cool piece, actually. I bet it's brand new. It just doesn't look like it's been used. But... It's a really cool piece. So it's over here. Wow, look at this tag. What the hell? This thing is it's like a paper tag. Always learning, guys. All right. We have a bunch of paperwork here. This is the first trash we've had. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Let's 
a full on coat. Looks pretty nice. Is there money in the pocket? Nope, no money. <sighs> no money. You're, I'm gonna have to check these pockets though, just in case before. Because you never know. People find money in Goodwill bins all the time in the pockets. Number size 14, guys, size 14. So we have our first leather coat. Great Northwest Clothing Company. Not bad, huh? What do you think about that, Ashley? Pretty cool. And we have another cool coat. This actually may be worth some money here. That may be worth some money. I had to pull up a lot of salts and comps, that's for sure. Here's another one, it's really cool. Feels like good quality too. Oop. Another wood hanger thingy. Okay. Yep. No brand on that one. London Fog. Made in the United States, London Fog. No new attack stuff here though, but still some good finds. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna list these pretty quick. So I got their bag. Okay, this actually may be new. It says new, made in the United States. Is there tags with it? Um, this is a Jones New York Petite. Jones New York, still got the little made in the United States tag. Looks in good condition. Why would they keep that on? I don't know. Maybe the tags are inside. But that's a, like a full on suit. This is new with tags. We found our first item new with tags. New with tags. We found Karen Scott. Right here, some Karen Scott. What is in here, Ashley? It's like a tablecloth. Yep, these are tablecloths. Oh wait, no, these are sweaters? These are sweaters. St. John's Bay. St. John's, I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going and going. Oh man. All right guys, I'm gonna take a break and then we'll do a few, a few more boxes. So, stay tuned. All right, yet another one. Oh, this thing's really cool. 
This is an ashtray, but it's an old one. Wow. Does that even work? Wow. This thing is crazy cool. So it's an ashtray, guys. An old ashtray. But you got a little lever here. You click it. It shoves the ball, and then it's got in gr uh, grooves in there. So you can kind of see where the ball lands. Wow. And it says uh, Merino. So you just like quicker you click it and it literally will land on a number because of the grooves like 2b wow i think it's really cool all right let's look at this small box here we got just a t-shirt there a little gold here's calvin klein sports right there This is just all clothes, I think. All silk, a lot of silk in here. This is a um, little dress thing. Wow. Okay, we won't go through, we'll spare you guys all these, but just some shirts, shirts, shirts. Gonna have to go through those. Go through those. We have, this is not opened yet, a little kid's wooden um, high chair. So, I don't know how old that thing is, but. And you get stuff like this all the time. This is brand new. It's for like a turkey um, or whatever you want to roast, basically, guys. It's a roast rack never used. So, that's it for this little pile. We've got a few more things, then we're going to call it. I have about another eight or nine boxes over here. Some open, some not. Um, but I'm running out of steam, guys. It's been a long two days. Um, let me just actually move the camera to you guys, show you guys. I think that will be better. Um, okay, let's do this. All right. So we just have a few boxes, some open, some not. Um, <clears throat> so we haven't went through this. Ooh. Uh, oh, sorry. I was, wasn't looking at the screen on the camera here, guys. So we have this bad boy. Let's take a look at that pot. Uh, more telephones in here. Um, you just get... Uh, like a really interesting looking lampshade. Oop. Another, uh, oh, some trash bags. Look at that old Target logo. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, yeah, that's a plunger. That's a plunger. Okay, let's go on to the next. And then you get stuff like this. This is all, look at this, all sealed household stuff. You know, you just get random boxes like this. It's all stuff that saves you a ton of money though. Um, saves you a ton of money because you don't have to buy it, right? And then going over here, this may be a box we'd actually want to open. Um, Ash, can you hold the camera for me? And we will show what's in this thing. I think there's some, I forgot about this. I haven't even actually looked in here. All right, so, so this box, guys, let's see. A welcome guide to the beach. Oh, this is in here. That's a platter. Wow. Nice. That's a price tag of 40 bucks. Yeah. That's actually in there. All right, is this another platter? Oh. Ralph Lauren. <laughs> There's another. Wow, another old platter in here. 
I don't know the brand name, but that's cool. Oh, that's just random stuff there. Oh, random stuff in here. Papers. Papers. I'm assuming more papers. Man, what's this? More papers? Yep, more papers. This goes back to the facility. That goes back to the facility. Okay. And then here we have some more cleaning supplies. Some of the stuff you can use that's not been opened yet, right? Um, saves you a ton of money. I mean, because some of this stuff can last for a while. You know? Um, so yeah, cleaning supplies. We have some shoes there. This is just kitchen stuff. And let's see what's in here. Oh, this is personal papers. This has to go back to the facility. Um, and I forgot to show you guys this. It's kind of cool. We do get a jar full of quarters as well. Um, bunch of lights in here, all brand new. And then you get, you know, kitchen. I'm just gonna spare you guys. This is just regular kitchen stuff uh, that you would get. Pyrex, Pyrex sells. You sell that on Macari and stuff. So that's just kitchen stuff. And this box. I think this is more kitchen stuff. Yeah, more kitchen stuff, guys. There is probably some good breakables down there, but anyway. All right, that was the storage unit, guys. So we do need to go back to the storage units and um, pick up the remaining box truck. Um, there's probably another 20 boxes in there, a lot of books. Um, I do have a washer and dryer in there, but primarily bigger bulky stuff. Um, so I'm gonna leave that in the box truck and sell it locally. So hopefully you like these two videos. Um, it was really fun to make, it was a lot of work uh, loading that big old sucker in there and filming it, but it was it was a really fun unit. I think we're gonna make a really good amount of money on it. Um, it's one of those units that you don't wanna get overwhelmed, you just wanna go box by box, list box by box, and then continue to go and then it'll be done. So. That's kind of what I'm going to do. I, hopefully you guys like this. I know it was a way long three videos, but I just wanted to show you guys everything. And if it wasn't raining and nasty out, I would have done it in the unit. Instead, I had to bring the boxes in here and show you guys. Uh, we are picking up one more storage unit that I had not even opened the door to uh, tomorrow. And um, so we'll film that possibly live. So hopefully you guys have already seen those videos. These ones will be edited, sent out, and um, hopefully you enjoyed them. Long story short, if you know something I don't, uh, it was something that I pulled out that's worth money, let me know. I, like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm learning alongside you guys. So put in the comments below and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. Much love. This is uh, Turkey Day. Hopefully you guys have an awesome Turkey Day. And I will talk with you soon. Until next time. Wait out.